Right guys, um, I'm going to show you how to make and own your own server on the aisle. Um, some of you have asked for it, so I'm literally going to make a video. I'm going to have to get on quickly with it because I do not want this video to be any longer than what it's going to be. Right, so what you want to do, you want to go to just type in, in Google ping perfect the aisle. This will take you straight to the right point. So now you're in here, you want to select what server you want. I mean, I pick UK because I'm from the UK. You can pick your like um, EU if you want EU. If you're from America, then pick US because this will be how stable your server is um, to how you want it. So because I'm from UK, I'm going to pick UK. But if you're from either of these countries, continents or whatever then it will be exactly the same steps anyway so I'm gonna click this one once you're uh, let me just move this out of the way right once you're in here it's gonna tell you your price breakdown here but um so here is billing you obviously want to put it at one month's price if you want to pay monthly if you want to pay every three months and it's that or whatever so but um i put it at one month price then you pay it each month um location use the dropbox this is where you want your server based so i just have it uk london because i'm from uk so it makes things easier for me server branding this will rename the server and add ping perfect to it for branding it will give you a discount but it won't look very good i don't think so i have no branding game slots however many game slots you want if you have 200 it's going to go up a lot more money if you go to 100 it's going to be 55 um or something like that so we'll just carry on going down but obviously the higher the players the more um, stuff you need I'd suggest that you always opt into this because this will give you better stable like it'll, it'll give you better load times more stability now if you go into this section um, uh, if you're planning on running v3 or something then definitely you want um, higher gigabyte I'd suggest somewhere around this mark if you're starting four or five gig somewhere around that but you can pick it lower and I'll explain more at the end of the video on when and how to upgrade that I'll also show you how to inject the non-survival dinosaurs as well towards the end of the video and I'll show you the full ins and outs how to set up the server in the control panel so support level you don't need this because i'm going to show you how to set it up anyway so cpu i have mine on high priority but if you want you can have normal you can upgrade that and i'll show you how you will know when to upgrade that later on in the video too you should get a notification email host name this is just the name of your server so you can add in um uh, your host name Password, in game admin password. Like, you don't actually need this, but I'd suggest you put something in that you're gonna remember just in case in future that you might need it. So, once you've got that server all set and you've picked how many players you want, just click continue and follow the next steps. Um, so recon password i need that too so we're just going to click continue 19 pound 50. so once that's all done you'll just click check out and then it will take you through to another page um, that i'm now going to show you now so i'm just going to log in with my facebook and then so you'll come to a page like this now once you're at this page it was it will show you um this is just how many funds is in the, my ping perfect account at the minute um, so we're going to click services now this is 
um, my current server here this is the price of my current server so we're gonna click that so now we're in this side of it you don't need oh yeah and if you need to upgrade in future your upgrade is here that is where you can get all your upgrades from this is so easy to do um, so once your servers up and running you'll get log into control panel so you can log into control panel once you've logged into control panel you will come to a place like this so now this is where i'm going to show you how to really set up your server if it's already on legacy then that's fine um if it's already on legacy when you set up the server it should say change to a rimmer here if it's on legacy then no, if it's on a rimmer then it will say legacy here and if you have to update it, what you will do is, or if you want to revert it, you'll click this and you need to make sure that you wait for the whole, um, wait until everything's finished on this menu that will come up. I can't click it because it will mess with my server, but that will show you exactly, wait until everything finishes on there. It will tell you when you can close the window. So once you can close the window, then update so to update it you'll then click this and that will update it and same again wait until the window is finished right so we're going to show you how now where you're going to select your map and game mode so map and game mode you want to come to command line manager in here you'll see all the maps now this doesn't work this doesn't work this doesn't work so don't bother with any of these. The only ones that you can use is this one, this one, and this one. So if I'm not going to select any of these because it all, I don't adjust anything in my server at the minute. But so select this, the one you want. So I've got the Noi Island, and then here's your game mode. So sandbox and progression. This will put it into sandbox, and that it's exactly what it says there. Basically, once you've done that, you want to click apply. Count, um, let me just go back to that because I think I might have just um, made a mistake for you guys so in here you want to select and just click apply and that is it so once you've done that click apply and then you can just click cancel so that is your map now loaded up into it um, I just want to make sure I'm getting everything for you guys. I want to try and get everything in one video. Um, web console. So this would be the chat logs inside your game also. So this is just people in here at the minute who's chatting. Uh, but we'll get rid of that because you don't really need that. So setting up your server. Go into configuration files. This is, um, I use text editor, but I would urge you to use configuration editor. This is what you want your server name to be. So you must put your server name in there. This is our server. Um, family sharing, we put that to yes. Um, server tags, you can just copy all of these if you like. If you want alt, in, alt turn in place, then that's there. Um, if you're running legacy disable it if you're running a rimmer then you can enable it um, name tags this will show players name tags above players and all sorts so i wouldn't adjust any of that now coming down this is the time that you want your server to uh, the time how long your body stay for now there's no point me explaining it because it explains it right there down here is your respawn time and logout time. That is that's there as well. Banned. So this is how you ban players. Like this one is not actually banned. That's that's irrelevant. This is a ban. Steam ID and the name there. Now new admin. You just click new admin and then you'll come down to here where it says zero. You get rid of that and then just paste in the Steam ID. Disable dinosaur, you just put in the code and it will disable it. Um, I will show you the codes later on in the video. Um, I'm just trying not to make this video very long. 
Right, so here that you don't need your Discord um you don't need your Discord link in there either. Uh that's pointless anyway. Starting time four thirty eight, so that's four thirty eight in the morning. So that's the time your server sun should come up, but with legacy at the minute it's pretty irrelevant. Day length, this is so your day length's really short, that's day length really long. Um, I have that enabled so people can't really cheat in le in legacy branch only it says right there so once you've done that you want to click save once you've clicked save we'll go to the message of the day I don't enter it through here I suggest you enter it through here so you want to click that this is where you want to write your message service of the day so it's pretty explanatory in there just fill it out click save that is it um mods anti-cheat all of that it's all irrelevant don't use it so now once you've done that we will go back to here now this is where i'm going to teach you how to inject dinosaurs like the spino or terry or pew or whatever you want to use so we're now going to go into here and then we're going to go to the aisle and then we're going to go down to saved and then we're going to go uh, databases and then we're going to go survival and then players and then it comes up with a list of all the players that have been in your server the player must be in your server for you to give them one of these dinosaurs because this is their save file without the save file you can't do it. You have to make sure that the they safe log too. If they don't safe log it won't work. This is my Steam ID, so I'm just gonna go here which I'm currently a Herrera. Um so what you do you just literally replace that with a code that I'm gonna show you the list and where to get all the dinosaur lists from in a sec. Sometimes you spawn in hurt, so you can either adjust it in here, just add an extra zero or whatever, that's more health. The health can only be what it is of the dinosaur anyway, so it's um but sometimes they spawn in a little bit dead, but I'd suggest you not use any of that and just heal them in game with the admin commands. So once the person's safe logged and done, then you will click save. Um and then they can log back into the game and they will be that dinosaur. So I'm just gonna actually I'm going to show you so if your server crashes and you need to update your server um, upgrade it sorry I show you where the upgrades were at the beginning but in here you'll get a notification saying that your issues detected on your server so and it will tell you the issue right here the memory limit of RAM is 400 and 4501 MB RAM so and that is what it crashed at so because it crashed I know then I needed to update my RAM so then I then upgraded my RAM and gave it more RAM and now you don't have any more problems so you will then have to upgrade so keep an eye on here if your um, if your server ever crashes but we're going to go back to game services now so now we're going to go into here and I'll just show you how to find the dinosaur list so just type in the aisle steam actually the aisle inject list and then we it's so easy to find it on here just um find steam this one would do um no not that sorry um okay i clicked the wrong link so it will be in type it like this actually and then click this one and then you'll click this link here once you've clicked this link just scroll down now these are what you put in if you want a juvenile shant that is how you inject it if you want an adult shant that is how you inject it with that and you replace that code like how my save file had Herrera in it 
that is how you do it and this is these are all the codes now these are all the codes for all of them so if you want to do that then um then yeah that's how you inject the codes i think i've ran through everything now for you um i'm pretty sure that's everything but yeah if your server crashes you need to check in there and upgrade it through here so you'll then click upgrade and then this is your upgrade so you can upgrade it it's uh, as much as you want basically but yeah i'm gonna end this video now and hopefully i have explained this the best i can and show you as much as i can if i have missed anything out just please let me know in the comments and i'm now gonna end the recording so thank you for watching